What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Happy Matt Months Monday. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning monster, welcome back because without you, this just wouldn't be possible. So this is kind of a late upload. It is literally like 9.30 or something when I'm filming this and it probably won't be up till like 11.30 by the time I edit it and upload it. But nonetheless, it's getting in on Monday, all right? So I gotta start off this video by saying happy Smash Ultimate Week. So it is officially the launch week of Smash Ultimate and I couldn't be more excited obviously and I know so many of you are so excited too so I thought it would be such a fun way to celebrate the release week of Smash Ultimate to do a video like this. So today I'm going to discuss the five characters that I think are most likely to be chosen for the five characters in the DLC Fighters Pass. There's been a couple of things that have led me to creating this list the way that it is. Number one, being that Sakurai told us that Nintendo is making the decisions. And number two, that Nintendo just released a statement saying that fans are gonna be really pleased and there's lots of surprises. Now I know that they kind of have to say something like that because they're not gonna be like, oh, the fans are gonna be really upset with these choices because I know it's gonna wanna purchase them. So of course they're gonna hype it up the best they can. But with Nintendo choosing them, I mentioned in the last video where I discussed my personal most wanted five DLC characters that I believe Nintendo is going to utilize this opportunity to promote future games in one way or the other as they did with Smash 4 DLC like Corrin. So let's kick this list off. Starting with number one, I am so 100% in belief that there will be another Fire Emblem character and that character is no other than Edelgard that is going to be the protagonist in the upcoming Fire Emblem title, Fire Emblem The Three Houses. Edelgard seems like a realistic choice with Nintendo being behind this bandwagon to push their future products and titles. So it will not come as any surprise if Edelgard is announced as a DLC character. Number two, Sora from Kingdom Hearts. So there's been a high fan demand for Sora from Kingdom Hearts to be in Smash. And I have this weird inkling feeling that this week at the game or video game awards, they are going to announce Sora as the first of the five DLC characters for Smash Bros. Ultimate to promote Kingdom Hearts 3, which is coming out in January. And I just feel like it's gonna be a cinematic trailer where Sora's like in a new world. It's gonna be a Smash world. And it just seems like the perfect setup. I personally love Sora and I think he'd be a great fit for Kingdom Hearts, so I'm, uh, for Kingdom Hearts, for Smash, so I'm not disappointed at all. And I just feel like, as much as I would love Geno or any other Final Fantasy character as well, um, I feel like if Square really is getting a second character, it's going to be Sora. That's what I think Nintendo is going to choose to kind of help um, cross promote. And I think Sora is a great choice because he's had four games on a Nintendo consoles from the Game Boy Advance to the Nintendo DS and then finally on the Nintendo 3DS. And so I think it's kind of a no brainer really. Number three, a new Pokemon. So this shouldn't really come to a surprise to anyone, honestly. And I feel like if you argue with this, I think you're kind of in denial. We all know that Pokemon 2019 is coming out next year to what, at what time we don't know, but the DLC Fighters Pass is supposed to continue through January of 2020. And so it's going to overlap with the Pokemon review, uh, announcement and release. And so it just seems like a total Nintendo move to choose one of the new gen Pokemon characters from the new Pokemon title to be in Smash. And I just am 100% convinced that that's what ex exactly what's going to happen. Number four is Banjo-Kazooie. I really believe that there's going to be a guest or a third party character, I guess we could call them as the other characters would be called, Matt. Third party character is going to be, at least one third party character is going to be a DLC fighter. And I think that is really going to be Banjo-Kazooie. I think Nintendo would be very unwise to ignore the fan demand for Banjo and Kazooie and to make every effort with Microsoft and Rare or however that company is split to get this character into Smash. So I'm very convinced that Banjo Kazooie is going to be one of the five playable DLC characters added throughout next year. And number five, number five for me is maybe on the ledge and maybe a little bit biased. Ah! But I am convinced that there's been a lot of trademarks filed and things like that for Golden Sun. And so if Nintendo is going to revive the Golden Sun series and have a Switch console release for the new, what would be the fourth entry in the series, I think having a Golden Sun character would be the perfect decision to, to make. So I think we're going to see a Golden Sun character in Smash. It won't be Isaac, it won't be Matthew, it won't be Felix, but it'll be the protagonist or one of the protagonists from the new Golden Sun. 
and they're gonna use that as a way to promote the revival of the series that's coming to Switch, and I'm that's my wild card character for the five characters. So guys, those are my five picks for who I believe are the most likely to be chosen by Nintendo for the Fighter Pass for Smash Bros. Ultimate. Again, happy Smash Bros. Ultimate launch week. I am so excited, I can't wait. I'm going to get the game at midnight, so it's going to be a great week. I never allow people to be with me when I get games on the launch night. I kind of like to just be with the game and and, and explore all the avenues and just kind of experience it by myself but this time I am breaking my own rule and allowing my brother to come with me to the launch and so he'll be around and we'll be up all night playing that freaking game till the sun rises I'm sure so I'm super excited and I hope my brother realizes how significant that is because I don't let anyone and I mean anyone come around when there's a launch game actually I think my ex came to a launch with me a couple of times but you know what that aside, it's still significant. So if I bring you to a launch and I let you come over at midnight, you must be pretty darn special. So breaking the rules. Well guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below how freaking excited are you for Smash? I want to know. And let me know what you think about my five picks for the DLC. Do you think I'm onto something? Do you think I'm way off? Who would be, who do you think Nintendo is going to pick for the five? fighters in the fighters pass for videos like this and more subscribe to my channel i post new videos every monday and sometimes throughout the week i have been posting a couple of times on friday for monster fan friday but i haven't done that in a while and until next time guys i love y'all and i will see you really really soon